Hello children, welcome to another interesting lesson. My name is Ms. Barton and we are having our second lesson in mathematics. Today we'll look at numbers and under numbers we'll look at counting, representation, cardinality and ordinality. We will look at counting, representation, cardinality and ordinality. So by the end of today's lesson, children, you should be able to identify numbers in different positions around a given number in a number chart. By the end of today's lesson, you should identify numbers in different positions around a given number in a number chart. Let's go through our keywords to understand the lesson better. Our first keyword is position. Position. A position is a place where something is located or has been put or placed. Position. A place where something is located or has been put or placed. So when you place something in a, at a particular place or location, we can say that that is the position of the thing. Is that okay? Let us move on to our next keyword. We have number charts. Number charts. They are numbers placed in a table form. They are numbers placed or in a, a table form. So when you have numbers in a table form, it is known as a number chart. Very good. So children, in our previous class, that is class two, we learned about numbers in number charts. We were given so many numbers in ones, and then we identified positions of numbers in this number chart. So that is what we will continue in this lesson. So in this lesson, we will look at Numbers in tens. So we have numbers in the form of tens or in a sequence of tens. So they be placed in tens form. Okay, children. So I have my number chart with me. I'll place it on the board. Then we can locate positions of numbers on the number charts. Get your jotters ready. Right. Children, this is an example of a number chart. We can, we can see so many numbers in a table form. So this number chart will help us locate positions of numbers. So let us look at the number chart closely. Which number are we skip counting in? Look at the first number. We have 10. Our second number, 20. The third one, 30. So you are right. We are skip counting in tens. So we added 10 to the first number to get 20. We added another 10 to the 20 to get 30. We did same and then we got the next number. We remember in our previous lesson, 
we spoke about skip counting. So we have skip counting in tens. Our number chart is in the form of tens. Now let me take a number. Let's take 200. Now 200 is surrounded by so many numbers. To the left, to the right, above, and then below. So which number is above 200? Above. Remember your English language class or lesson. Okay, so 120 is above 200. So we'll circle 120. 120 is in the hundreds column. I hope you can see it from 120 move to 130 and then we have 140 150 160 170 180 190 and then 200 what about the number below the number below 200 Good. We have 280. It is still in the 200 column. So these are the different positions around a given number. So 120 is above 200. 280 is below 200. Now let us take another number. Let's take 420. To the left, which number comes before 120? Okay, so to my left, I have 410. So the number that comes before 420, we have 410. It means that 10 was just added to 410 to get what? 420. Now let us look at the number above 420. We have 340. Very good. So 340 is in the four is, is in the 300 column. Okay, children. Let us look at the number of times we skip counted in tens to get 420. So we added 10 to 340. So we have 10 here. Another 10. 10 comes here. Another one. We add 10 here. And then we add another 10 here. Now let's count the number of 10s we have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 340 plus 80, because we have 10, 8 of the 10s, is okay, so it becomes 80. 0 plus 0, we have 0. 4 plus 8, 12. So we write our 2 and then carry on the 1. 1 plus 3, we have 4. There we have our 420. Good. Children, let us look at another example. Let us take the number 690. 690. 
90. Now, let us locate the number above 690. Which number do we have there? 610. Very good. Now, let us look at how many times we will skip count to get 690. So, we are skip counting in tens. So, we add our tens. Let us count the tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So we have 610 plus 80. 80 because we have eight of the tens. Is that okay? So let's do our calculation. 0 plus 0, we have 0. 1 plus 8, we have 90. Good. There's nothing to add yet, so we will repeat our 6. So we have 690. Very, very interesting. Okay, children. What have we learned today? Today we've been able to learn numbers and the number chart to locate the position of numbers in a number chart. Copy the number chart or make your own number chart. Take a number and then find the location or positions of different numbers around the number that you picked. Add the numbers you skip counted in to see if you get the exact number you picked. Okay, children, make sure you watch the videos and then when we meet on Zoom, we discuss more. Be safe and then practice more examples. I'll see you all later. Bye.